so usually I will cry. But I'm not going to. I've already done that in my seat a few times, anticipating this moment. So I'm going to hold up. No! But, but my, my friends like to tease me a lot about these kind of things. Well, one of the things they tease me about is, I've been a fitness guy my whole life, and I stretch. In weird times, I'll be in conversations with people, and we had a group of us, and I'll just be stretching. Right. No. <laughs> Something like that. So I told them I would stretch a little bit on stage. Just, just a little bit. To keep, keep, my, keep my back loose. I can talk properly. But, but seriously, this is um, absolutely incredible. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about my background. I grew up playing sports, hockey and soccer were my life. I was seven days a week, you know, multiple times a day. I uh, actually made it to uh, won a national championship as a hockey player and my life kind of went the opposite direction after accomplishing that because that season that I did that I, I separated both my shoulders three times. So it ended my dream of being a professional athlete and when that happened I started going down the wrong path. I got mixed up with the wrong people, got involved into in drugs. Luckily enough, I didn't get involved in the crime, but I got really, you know, hard in drugs. And uh, when I was about 22 years old, I got pulled out of a party by some very scary people, and they were sent to this party to break my arms. And it was the middle of winter. They dragged me out of this party and they brought me up on a mountaintop in Thunder Bay and literally kicked the shit out of me. And that point in my life was the lowest I'd ever been. And I, I remember waking up from that affair and realizing like I'm going nowhere and I need to get out of this mess. So I decided very shortly after that to leave that city with nothing. I just left, actually with a hockey bag full of clothing, and moved to Ottawa to start my life over again. I tried to go to school. School was never my forte. I love to learn, but not in a school atmosphere. I'm a kinesthetic person, so you know, uh, being active is what I was good at. I started getting involved with, uh, with the fitness world and started working at the college gym while I was trying to get an education. Dropped out of school, just kept working in that place. And then I, I met someone who introduced me to the world of personal development and uh, in a book called the monk who sold his Ferrari. I don't know if anybody's read yeah. that book. Yeah. If you haven't, I'll buy it for you. It's incredible. <laughs> I've given that book away probably 200 times. I think that's one of the best gifts you can ever give to somebody is a book. Pass on knowledge is that book. It's that gift that'll keep on giving and can change a person's life in a profound way. So I, I got exposed to that book and, and I read it and I devoured it and I started just becoming a voracious reader. Um, now I have books every single place you could possibly look. I have them in my bags, I have them by my toilet, I have them by my bed, I have them in my kitchen, I have them by my computer, I have them in my car, I have them everywhere. Is that I believe the more you expand your mind, that's where you'll find the things that other people don't have. And you can use it. Spend that time developing your mind and, and being able to pass that information on to other people and help you change other people's lives and you serve other people, that's the people that live the finest lives. I admire those three men very, very much because they serve other people. And look at the lives that they lead. I bet you most people in the room would like to have a similar life. And this is what this company can do for people. We can have the privilege to serve other people first before yourself. And by doing that, you end up here. That is the most powerful thing you could ever do on this planet. We're not here just to exist, which most people out there just are. We're here for a greater reason, and it's to help other people just be great, lead great lives. That possibility is there for everyone, and it's a sad state of affairs that most people don't know about it because we're conditioned by a society 
which is designed to keep you down and program. We have the power with this organization to expand people's minds. Entrepreneurship will free you. Spread that word. When I met these guys four years ago, I fell in love with that concept of entrepreneurship. It wasn't about network marketing. It's nothing about network marketing. It was about entrepreneurship. Teaching people how to be free thinkers and develop their own life by design. And that is a concept that I was like, instantly I fell in love with it. It just wasn't the right time. I tried to recruit Jay into that business at that time. He just wasn't having it. And it wasn't ready. And it's a great thing he wasn't ready because we wouldn't be in this situation now. Everything happens for a reason, right? And the, it's incredible what we've been able to do in such a short period of time. I'm so grateful for everybody in the room, everybody in my team. You should have seen the bonding that came together at the end of last month across the line of Ambassador. We had $50,000 in volume in four days. Yeah. Thank you for your time.